Agriculture is at the center of the Nigerian economy, providing the main source of livelihood for the majority of Nigerians. However, Nigeria is blessed with large tracts of arable land, which place agriculture as an important sector of the economy, with high potentials for employment generation, food security, and poverty reduction. While agricultural productivity has far-reaching plain trade repercussions, Improving agricultural efficiency always has and will continue to be accomplished at the farm level using modern technology innovations and improved farm inputs to boost efficient farm management. Hence, the introduction of International Fund for Agricultural Development IFAD Assisted Value Chain Development Program in some states of the Federation. The Federal Government of Nigeria has deliberately designed investment agencies and opportunities to support individual participation in the agricultural sector, which IFAD, Nigeria's trusted partner for reducing poverty among rural dwellers, has embraced in some states of the country. The program is in nine states of the country, namely Taraba, Ogun, Niger, Nasarawa, Kogi, Enu, Ebonyi, Benue, and Anambra states. The main objective of the program is to increase the incomes, food and nutrition security of smallholder farmers, producer and producers who cultivate not more than five hectares of either cassava or rice, and processors who process not more than two metric tons of cassava, and mill not more than four metric tons of rice daily, and also traders in these commodities on a sustainable basis. This United Nations agency is geared towards implementing a six-year federal government of Nigeria IFAD Assisted Value Chain Development Program in six states in the country, including Enugu State. In Enugu State, IFAD VCDP is presently intervening in five local government areas of the state, which are Aninri, Enugu East, Nkano East, Isuzo, and Udeno. Five LGAs were carefully selected by Enugu State Government and then IFAD VCDP. And these are Aninri because of the mass production of rice. Outside Uzo and in Enugu State, second in rice production is Aniri, and we have to pick it. Kanu East, when you talk about the Ubo cars, talk about the Neme, talk about the, um, the Naras, the, uh, and all that, you know, they have a lot of land, very good for rice production. Then issues up in the Hamufu area, Muji area. They have very good land for rice production. Tested, the soil was tested. And then when they go to cassava production, we talk about the Udemu people. If you go to Boleke, you go to Imilikago, you go to Ezimago and all of that. You go to Egoba, you know, and all of that. They have very good land. Tested for cassava production. Of any species of cassava. Then if you come to Enugu East, the likes of Amoji Nike, the likes of Gugu Nike, Ubeke Nike, Ako Nike, you know, the soil is so good for rice and for cassava production. So it's on that process that they had to pick these five LGAs for us to pilot tests and then get involved in the VCDP, you know, activities for the state. 
rural participating farmers in Enugu State have experienced huge success in the various farms across the benefiting communities as a result of tremendous support and monitoring from VCDP Enugu. The council areas were selected based on the capacity for rice and cassava production, processing and marketing value chain. Ifad to me is a household name because uh, long before Ifad came into Enugu, I've been in contact with Ifad, which should be around six years back. And I've seen a lot they have been doing. I've clamored so much for them to come to Enugu. And finally, the dream came true. We have been so much involved in the activity of Ifad. And the impact it is creating in our lives is wonderful because it has given us that opportunity to know that even in the rural setting, you can make it in life. That even in the rural setting, the fund from the international body can trickle down to you and you make use of it and get a full utilization of it. It's wonderful. So for me, I would say that IFAD is a welcome to development. Something that could have been there, like say 20, 30 years ago, is now there now that all activities are doing well. So for us, IFAD is a welcomed development. I don't know VCDP before, but through my FO, that is my uh, farmers organization, which is a Young Farmers uh, Cooperative Society. Then through the, 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 the VCDP now, that came to register the farmers uh, cooperative. We went and uh, registered our cooperative. Then after the registration, they call us that uh, there is an opportunity that uh, the farmers have to register with the uh, VCDP. And after the registration we did, they came and uh, asked us, what do you like to do? Then I choose uh, cassava multiplication. Uh, cassava multiplication even though as we are as we are gradually making the farm because we have not been farming in a, a large quantity like this the uh, the the man in charge uh, dr spc dr Ishi, uh, he, he always call us to encourage us and support us financially uh, through his his uh, personal pocket and we appreciate him then after the support then i now came back and established this uh, farm this is my first time of having such a, a land farm then if you look the other side uh, is of the the 2000 uh, 2022 uh, farm season that i am preparing now then from this last year on i will get some sticks of uh, cassava that i will use to plant from this uh, this uh, new 2022 farm season <laughs> So since almost 15 years we have been suffering, even to get a wheelbarrow, push the cassava from the farm to the house is very difficult. But when the party VCDP came up on board, then they told us that they have uh, opportunity to help the farmers in purchasing three cycle. So we now, after the youth entrepreneur, I now applied for the three cycle. This cutting was given to us by Enugu State VCDP. So, 
unlike before. I will trust from that place to here. We take me up to three, four thousand naira. But today, I just fuel the tricycle with five hundred naira, and I transport the cassava stick to here. So since that time, both water. See, this water was constructed for us by Ifas VCDP, and uh, I used the tricycle to deliver water to the people that need it. The state's program coordinator, IFAD VCDP Enugu, Dr. Edward Isio, emphasized that the program is designed to expand economic opportunities for rice and cassava rural farmers who are cultivating not more than five hectares of the staple crops, as well as processors and marketers of the two commodities. The, the goal of VCDP is to reduce, to reduce poverty, enhance the economic capacity of the farmers, the rural poor farmers that cannot produce more than 2.5 metric tons of cassava or rice as it were. Working with vulnerable women, working with the vulnerable youths, I can say yes, the objective is very enhanced, very you know, accomplished. We started by formation, we roll a cooperative model, you know, and then formation of um, cooperative groups, what we call the focus groups, the, you know, user groups. And they are there in these five LGAs. Kudos to the cooperative units of any state government. Surprisingly, if at VCDP Enugu is working assiduously to address issues of low productivity, poor quality, limited range of processed products, lack of standardization and packaging, thereby aiming at marketing locally milled rice and processed cassava products to compete with imported brands in the state. You have shown a great impact. A lot of women today can boast of sending their children to school because of the support a father has given to them. You can imagine a woman who cannot grow up to 0.5 hectare, that's half a hectare of farm, and is being given input on a micro point of 30%, and if had matches with 70%, and today the woman is having about 5 hectares, what do you think is the resultant effect? You can imagine a youth who doesn't have anything when he joined Ifad and he was given a distoner, a processing machine at a minute rate and he goes in and they are there in the field processing and getting money to themselves. Don't you think the unrest or the whatever the, 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 the vices will stop? You can imagine a farmer, a, 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 a cassava farmer, you know, who doesn't, who can't grow up to 0 0.5 hectares and then you are giving the person about a certified cassava stamps and he goes around, go to the field, train him on uh, good agricultural practices and today he's producing uh, about uh, two hectares, five hectares and getting about seven tons and they don't have the stress in selling it because we have off-takers. These off-takers will come and negotiate at the prevailing market price and they will take it off from them at the farm field, at the field there. So they make all their money. You know, a lot of them has boosted their economic, um, you know, uh, status through what Ifad has given to them, through this input, through trainings given to them, knowledge enhancement, through e extension given to them. We have trained a lot of our youths on what we call nutrient dance. If you look around, you see some of them, the cake we use in this office, the chinchin we use in this office, are produced from rice and cassava products. You understand? And these this young ladies today can boast of producing all these things for themselves, all these confessional things. Many of them have gone into it. They are working in some places, working for themselves. We gave them all these uh, starter packs. We gave them oven, a microwave oven, gas cylinder, and every other thing that we use in making cake. They produce this cake, you understand, from cassava. We had a youth uh, forum in Abuja last time, National Youth Forum in Abuja, for agricultural show. They carried all the products we have. To that place, they made it themselves. So we are creating a greater impact. That even when IFAD is existing tomorrow, I will boast. Any good state will boast to say, "Look, impact if IFAD came and made a serious impact in the life of our people." 
working with the program's goal of reducing rural poverty, increasing food security, and accelerating economic growth on a sustainable basis, IFAD VCDP Enugu has trained and retrained over 4,000 participating farmers across the state on agronomic practices in production, processing, and marketing of rice and cassava. Most importantly, they have done a great thing in capacity building. Improving a farmer is not just supplying input, but in changing the mind of the farmer so that uh, the farmer will grow even on his own. We had a lot of uh, training on our best agronomical practices, on even family life that will help a farmer in growing. We have also been taught on uh, financial literacy, the most, one of the most important lessons in, uh, in agriculture. Farmers were trained on financial literacy, how to manage their money and certain financial institutions that can help a farmer grow. Within 22 months of IFAD existence in Enugu State, precisely September 2020, the benefiting farmers of Value Chain Development Program in the five local governments across the state have testified to the efficacy of the program under the leadership of a seasoned agriculturist, Dr. Edward Isio, through distribution of improved farm inputs, prompt monitoring, and rigorous processes of training. What it will mention is the massive achievements of an entrepreneur VCDP Enugu has trained on cassava stem multiplication as National Roots Crops Research Institute, Umudike Umahe, in Abia State. VCDP has imparted in my life. They have established me in a way that I will not lack food, even money, right from today now, because I can supply cassava stems through the help of the VCDP Enugu. After our training, we received from that uh, Umudike. Then when we came back, the VCDP, they now supported us. We are many, we are 20 in numbers. They supported us, they give us uh, 50 bundles of cassava, four bags of fertilizer, a uh, herbicide that we should go and uh, start our, our own. VCDP Enugu, of course, moves beyond free distribution of farm inputs to farmers to erecting lasting legacies in communities involved to alleviate the sufferings of rural farmers, ensuring efficient food production at the grassroots and environs. Some of these befitting projects are construction of solar-powered borehole at Obekenike and Ezimago Cassava Processing Center, construction of culverts and bridges, and linking farm roads in four communities and building of market stalls and stores at Urioba, Cassava Market in Udenu, among other locked up shops with offices. We have done about four cycles since we started. This is just our second year. We resumed in September and then we are just doing completing our second year. In the area of infrastructure, we have done so well by my own assessment. We celebrated our 365 uh, days accomplishments last year. So this time around, we are celebrating times two of it, which is two years of it. And then we have had enough infrastructure in these five LGAs. We have about seven boreholes scattered in these five LGAs. We have about five processing uh, uh, rice processing mills. We have about three uh, processing mills of different models. We have about um, 11 um, um, uh, culverts about four mini bridges, you know, these are infrastructure. We have crutches. You might be very surprised when I say crutch. We believe in a total, you know, um, a total um, 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 package. If a woman is processing cassava and is a breastfeeding woman, is coming with the baby. So the baby has to be at the crutch, and probably playing at the crutch while the mother is doing the, um, the, the real job of processing. After that, the baby picks the baby and then go. And then again, she goes there to breastfeed the baby because it's a, a nutrition aspect of the, 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 what we're doing. Uh, you know, if I visit the same nutrition in our child. The area of um, 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 transportation, marketing, we have supplied a lot of tricycles to our youths. They use this tricycle as income generation for financial inclusion. They use it to make money for themselves, keep their records, 
and then from there they will save money and enter you know, other business and it has you know their living standard we have given out a lot of equipment i'm talking about processing equipment talk about the distoners talk about the rice processing mills talk about the rice processing polishers the overwhelming agricultural output achieving the production and marketing of rice in an area local government has recognized VCDP Enugu as a household name in the area. For the farmers before the intervention, rice farming was a nightmare, but has recorded positive changes through the agency in Enugu State. They taught us that we have to do this rice in line. As you witness this place, the rice is in line. Why they, we do it now is that today we spread the selective here. If not that we, uh, this rice is in line, you will see that the person that are spraying the selective will match the rice. The rice will not uh, gain itself again. But because of this lime planting, it will help the selective to be uh, sprayed easily. Again, it will help you to control the weed. Again, it will help you to get more yield. What they did this year is a marvelous work. Because there is no organization that have tried to do this, especially to the women. Many a time, if government try to bring support like this, men will hijack it. But this one, the IFA, the VCDPA, and the state, try to bring it down to the rural women farmers, which you have seen me as a, one of the beneficiaries. And uh, in my group, we are about 12. And that 12 receive the support, the grant for this, uh, for this uh, program. So I really thank the IFAD VCDP in Nubu State because of this marvelous work that they do for us. One man said that Kai, that lady, should be a darling. And you know what it means? So for me, I would say Dr. Isiu, who happened to be the coordinator of this process in Enugu, should be a darling as the head of this activity, as the head of the affairs of IFAD VCDP Enugu. I say, Dr. Isiu should not just stop as being a head of this. Not just stop at them adding more local government for him to do because this is just like a storm in a teacup for him. Let them add more load for him so that we will still see more of his activities. Let them make it, if possible, in the 17 local government areas. He can manage it. He can do it because we have seen it. All the things he has been doing is not hidden. We are not blowing any trumpet. We are saying the reality. If anybody sees this as a trumpet, the person is making a serious and grievous mistake. This is a reality show. It's a play. It's a show. Beside every success story are some key players. The Enugu State Value Chain Steering Committee, headed by the State Commissioner for Agriculture, Dr. Matthew Idu, has been performing oversight functions to encourage implementation of VCDP at the state level. The number of uh, farmer organizations, uh, uh, which is a combination of different uh, cooperative societies have been empowered in the last uh, couple of years uh, into the production of uh, cassava and rice in uh, about five uh, local government areas in this state. And uh, they've all been busy and they've been commending uh, effort uh, in their contribution in, uh, to poverty reduction in this state. My amiable governor, Right Honorable Dr. Ifa Ichikubai, has been is a former friendly person. He has VCDP close to his heart because he knew that VCDP is reaching out to the poorest of the poor farmers. And that's why he has given us all the support. I walk into his office at an, you know, just like MRM to brief him on VCDP. He's interested in what we're doing. Investigation has shown that an IFAD supported program in Enugu State is helping to reduce dependence on imported rice and cassava flow, thereby strengthening the access of smallholders farmers to local markets in various communities in the state. <laughs>